going to cover the topic of um, satellite verification. So that how can I be absolutely certain if um, my meter says I found the satellite that it, it is actually that satellite. And I'm just going to cover first of all a very common misconception that people have, uh, and this is not um, th this is common to all satellite meters how, how it works. That people believe that they're searching for a particular satellite, but in reality what they're doing is they're searching for a specific transponder on that satellite. Okay, and what can happen is if that transponder is also common to uh, another satellite, it can actually give, if we search for that, that transponder, um, it can give a false reading on, on uh, one satellite and a true one on the other one. So how do we know for certain that we're, we're getting a true reading from our satellite? Well, there's, uh, I'm going to demonstrate the problem and I'm going to pr uh, then demonstrate two uh, ways of verifying that we have the right satellite. So I have in front of me here two leads. One is coming from the Astro 2 satellite, which we generally use for BBCs, etc. And Astro 1 here, which is a totally different satellite and would be used normally for German television. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start by actually connecting on the satellite feed here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go select here and I'll go to the Astro 2 satellite. And you can hear the strong beeping here, and we'll know that uh, the transponder we're searching here has been found. Okay? Um, so if I actually come along then and I just go, um, I exit out from here, and I come down to the next one, which is Astro 1, uh, we'll see that, uh, that we have a transponder here that's not been found. But if I go, sorry, if I, if I come down to the uh, transponder list here, go OK. I know that this top transponder here was listed on the Astro 2 satellite and it's also a transponder that broadcasts from Astro 1. So if I come along here and I search for this transponder, it'll find it. So it's saying, I found this transponder and it happens to be on Astro 1. So people might deduce from that we have Astro 1, but that isn't actually the case. So what are the two ways we can possibly avoid this? Well, the first one is pick a transponder that's unique only to the Astro 1 satellite. Okay, so this one here is giving no signal because it's looking on the Astro 2 satellite for a transponder that's only found on Astro 1. If I come along here and I actually put on the Astro 1 feed here, we'll see we have a signal immediately. Just disconnect here to stop you listening to the beeping. So on our web pages, what we're actually doing is we're listing on transponders that are unique to particular satellites and avoids this confusion. Now another way of doing this will actually be to use a thing called TP packets, where we're actually looking at a number of different um, packets coming off of different transponders. So what we're going to do here is I'm simply going to go in and packet control. We can see it here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press the OK button. And we can see here it's starting off doing a search for the um, Astro 1 satellite. So we can see of the fi five different transponders, it's found four of them. And there are probably four transponders that are common to Astro 1 and Astro 2. But we can see one of them, the middle transponder here, is not being found. Okay. So what I can do here is I can actually just arrow up the Astro 2, hit the select button, and we'll see here that we get signals on all five. And this is a good way of verifying that, yeah, all, all the transponders that we expect to find there are there and there's all the good levels on it. So, um, so that's it. So just to recap here again, this is all about uh, satellite verification to make sure that if you get a signal that it's a true positive signal. And I've demonstrated two ways that you can go about this. You can do it either using the um, uh, TP search by having a unique uh, transponder that we look for or we can also use it by packet control making sure that all the transponders listed are actually there.